So I'm bringing you another good mist land seed. And the reason why I do this is because very recently, Christy just uh, interviewed Grimcore, one of the devs of Valheim. And he says that the Mistlands biomes will be larger. Now, I know that they'll be taller because there was a tweet by Luma, another one of the Valheim devs the other day, that said the Mistlands height map will change. So they're building it up to be taller because all of those huge rock crags and everything they got to have space to exist going up and going down so that's all very cool but this this talk about them being larger is very interesting now what i assume that means is we can see this beautiful little starting island area extends all the way up mistlands deep north notice how all the mistlands they can only start generating after a certain radius out from spawn presumably as far as we know that's going to be lessened so you'll have more mistlands cutting in at a radius maybe all of this area will be mistlands and here and there so we'll have more mistlands we'll have wider mistlands which is super interesting but Grim, now this is the same Grim that has already been through the Mistlands about nine times already in testing and dev testing, said that he prefers Mistlands generated on the old maps because the points of interest are the same, but the Mistlands themselves are still this size, they're still smaller. So it's more compact, it's more dense, there are more interesting things per square meter. And that is, so far, what we can tell is a preference from him. Uh, the interview sounded like it was just his preference. I don't know how good that is. Maybe it'll be, it'll be cool because, okay, it's a lot easier to track the interesting things in the mist, but also... It could come with a drawback as in like there are more dangerous mobs clumped up denser and closer together. So probably has its own positives and negatives. And the preference that each of us will have will be unknown until we try it both ways. And so I bring to you today a second Mistland Seed. I have already had my uh, first Mistland Seed video, but I really, really like this one. Look at this huge spawn area. We've got really good sailing routes. This especially, I love this coastal maypole freighter right there. Sail all the way over here. Big crypt swamps. Let's turn on the tombs and crypts. Yeah, look at all of that. And then we have some just up north as well. Really nice. If we look at uh, progression even earlier from that let's turn those off let's go biomes only and turn on the shipwrecks so yeah early fine wood shipwrecks there and there their spawn those are the shipwrecks these are just the buried treasures that you know there's only an 80 percent chance of them even being there it's, it's eh, not worth so let's go back to full terrain Show you the boss, not the boss stones. The boss is Elder's close, motor there, or motor there. Yagel is pretty close too. We got bone mass just over here. Super clean, super nice. Really easy. Of course, goes all the way up in the Mistlands of Deep North. What's not to love about that? This in particular is really exciting. You can make a Mistlands base right in this black forest here. And then you just have Mistlands to the north, Mistlands to the south. Super, super nice. Just like really, really convenient. Uh, I also really like the Mistlands within this mountain here. That's amazing. That's cool. And attached to the deep north too. That's This is just a lov lovely little island there. Let's go check 
Now, Leviathans, we have a Coastal Leviathan here. So that's an easy Abyssal Harpoon, really nice. And I think that's everything I checked. Yeah, that's everything. I mean, that's still like such a nice seed. There's so much going on in this in this area. We've got good crypts north and south. And yeah, definitely this Coastal Maypole plus Trader. Good sailing routes to swamps. Uh, oh, Frost Caves. Haha. <laughs> You're all good. No shortage of Fenders hair. Super convenient. Very nice. All right. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and uh, I, I wonder if this is going to be uh, totally game-changing in terms of map design. Maybe the, the land masses are going to change. We don't really know until the update drops. Or at least it's until public testing. Hmm, I don't know. Well, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye!